The Opus Community, what's popping? What's popping is part four. It's Thursday with this I Feel Like Dirt reaction. This album is fire. I feel like there's no skips up here so far. It's living up to all the hype that I thought it was. And you guys, if you guys are familiar with the channel, y'all know one of the first reactions we did was Frostbite. So one of our first reactions on this channel from Bones is from the I Feel Like Dirt album, man. So it's living up to all the hype. I'm loving all the sounds and everything. He's just spazzing. You got grief all over this album with the production going crazy, man. Shouts to Swirl. You know, shouts to Stereo Rise. Shouts to Arab, all the producers involved with this album so far. But yeah, man, the next track we have is One Was The Last Time. After that, we got No Offense, None Taken. Then we got Blind Harper. So those are the three for today. Y'all make sure y'all check out part three. We had um, Tom Is Now On My Side. 517 and um palm drive as well so y'all make sure y'all check that out make sure y'all check out the reactions we did by themselves with 517 frostbite chrome um airplane mode and singing in the rain fire tracks from bones some of my favorites but yeah let's get right into when was the last time let's get it love you guys thanks for showing up as always hope your day is going well let's go oh salute to license on the production my bad The license on that production, man. Yeah, so that right there, when was the last time? All right, so my thoughts on this one, man. I'm not like a big fan of like the auto tune, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm always a fan of like Bones' verses. And not, even if I'm not really cool with the delivery or I'm like not a fan of the delivery, I'm always cool with the verse and everything because he was saying some shit up here. And it's like this one of them songs, man, it could, it could grow on me, like listening to the album over and over again, it could grow on me. But like I said, I'm just not a fan of like the auto tune and everything. But he's like, I don't want to figure out that I've been on my own. I don't want to wait anymore to roam around alone. Waiting around for you to come, but know you'll never show. You know, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about, man. The lyrics are, the bars and the lyrics are always there. They're never not there. Trying hard, I'm holding on. I don't want to let go. Don't need a vest. No, I'll pop you in your head, ho. So that's, once again, like talking about the vest and everything. I want to, and this crazy how he's like singing auto tune talking shit. I want to see what's on your mind. This right here is crazy right here. Where he's like, don't need no vest, no. I'll pop you in the head, ho. I want to see what's on your mind and let it export. You know, like you got import and you got export when you talk about computer shit. And then, of course, when you talk about like cars, import, export, and all that stuff. So he's saying export is like exiting your brain and everything. So he's like, you know, I'll pop you in your head, ho. I want to see what's on your mind and let it ex and let it out export. So I'm going to see what's on your mind because I blew your brains out. Um, swinging the rover, speaking to no one, thinking about you, I'm just thinking it over. Every night, every day, you're on my mind, what can I say? Every night, every day, you're on my mind, what can I say? When was the last time you thought of me? When was the last time you were who you thought you'd be? 
when was the last time you thought of me when was the last time you were who you thought you'd be you know so you know he's targeting what like is it i mean this man this this huh I'm trying to break down what he means in this song right here um yeah y'all help me figure this out in the comments and everything because he's talking about you know it's one of, I, I know bones goes from subject to subject but he's like um waiting around for you to come but i know you'll never show trying hard i'm holding on i don't want to let it go don't need no vest no i'll pop you in your head hope want to see what's on your mind let it export swinging the rover speaking to no one thinking about you i'm just thinking it over every night every day you're on my mind so he could he could be talking about a love interest and everything and then just some combat in between you know what i'm saying so it is what it is man when was the last time you thought of me yeah exactly so he's probably talking about a love interest and everything so yeah that was when was the last time right there y'all the next track we have is no offense none taken this one is produced by grief so let's see what's problem with y'all let me know how y'all feel about the album in the comments when was the first time y'all heard it how to make y'all feel and everything how do y'all feel about um when was the last time and what's your favorite track off this album all right let's get it it's like the first bar already got me like dang when you up motherfuckers will dab you up they'll go behind your back and say it's you to switch it up like all the shit he got you don't deserve half of it like i ain't drop a thousand songs before i made a thousand back i'm paying no mind no it's in my head i know that's just a reflection of insecurities inside them projected onto me like a scream when they feel entitled their mind goes out and it starts spewing shit to spite you but it's all right though everybody has bad days just don't waste away blaming others for your fate you gotta get up out your front move your feet break your fucking neck bob your head to the beat Put you in a good mood, man. And that beat is fire, man. Another boom bat beat. Yeah, y'all really, I really love that song right there, man. And it's crazy because the song is called No Offense None Taken. And he's saying, you know, I can't blame you. We all going through something. You know what I'm saying? So I can't even take offense. You know, no offense, none taken. You know, that I feel like that's creative right there, and that's dope. I like, I really like the bars in here, man. Just from the opening bar. Well, he's just like, you know, when you up, motherfuckers would dap you up, then go behind your back and say, and um, say it's you that's switching up. Like, that right there is crazy, man, because I, I, could, I could relate to that right there, man. It's just a lot of people in my life I had to cut off because you start to realize some people, they're in your life for seasons. Some people are in your life just to use you, you know what I'm saying, or just be nosy. They just want to keep tabs on you. Some really wicked shit. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to be your friend they, they're like you know they're they're ex-friends which to me is like the worst kind you know with an op you know the op is the op you know backstabbing you know frenemies is like that's the worst shit ever man because they they you know what i'm saying you y'all used to be cool at some point you know those are like the worst ones i like the ops that i was never cool with you know what i'm saying i ain't really got i ain't got no ops now well at least i don't, I don't think i do maybe i do that i don't i don't know that we're beefing <laughs> you know what i'm saying but yeah but um so he's like, when you up, motherfuckers will dap you up, then go behind your back and say it's you that's switching up. That right there is whack, man. That shit is so lame, and it's real because if you're doing something, let's say you're doing something good with your life, and you got a circle of friends, and like you realize that those friends aren't really doing nothing, so you go off on your own and branch out, and then you start finding success without them around, you know. And then they'll dap you up, they'll see you in passing, you look like you living good. Hey, what's going on? Such so whoop de whoop da da da. 
And then after that, they get in the car and get on the phone with the other people in the circle. Yeah, this motherfucker think he better than everybody. He got this and that going for him and this and that. That motherfucker changed. But you just went out of your way to dap him up. It's real wicked, man. He was like, um, so he's like, like all the shit he got, he don't deserve half of it. See, and that's what I'm saying. All the shit he got, he don't deserve half of it. So that's why he's, they're talking shit about him. Um, the kind that'll drop a thousand songs before I made a thousand back. Like that right there. I feel that too, man, because he's saying drop a thousand songs before I made a thousand back. Like, that, that is crazy right there because he put all this work and this time in and did not really get paid for real. And that's what I'm saying. I can relate to that because, like I told y'all, with his YouTube shit, I make, like, no money off of this, dog. Like, period. Like, I don't really, like, this is, like, pretty much free work. It's time. Time is not free. But, like, doing this stuff, man, like, that that's it. I don't really make no money off of this YouTube stuff. If I make money on anything, it's probably Patreon and maybe a little on Patreon, a little on Twitch. So, salute to the patrons and everything. But besides that, nah, man. And But it's like I'm putting in work, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to put in the work to get to where you need to be. And that's what he's saying. Like, I dropped a 1,000 songs before I made a $1,000 back. You know, so he's like, I paid no mind, no, because it's in my head. I know that's just a reflection of the insecurities inside of them. And that's another thing he's saying. You got to learn to stop taking stuff personal. No offense, none taken, like the song. So he's saying, like, that's something that they're battling with their head. Because, you know, a lot of times when people have issues with you, you're not really the problem. It's something they're battling internally. So let's say you're a really good person with high levels of energy, and then everybody loves you and gravitates towards you, and you got that one hater or those few haters that are like, man, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? You're not the problem. It's something inside of them that you're activating that they need to go sit in a corner and, you know what I'm saying, study themselves and learn themselves more. When you get to learn yourself and you get to learn your personality, your demeanor, your state of mind, your triggers, you become unstoppable. Because when someone's trying to trigger you, you see exactly what they're doing. And then you know how to navigate around it. When you navigate around it, now they're triggered. And you didn't even do anything. All you did was just not give it no energy. You know what I'm saying? So... Like, for instance, like, when I went on my live and everything, somebody came into my live the last time I was there, and they just put, like, unrecommended. And I was just like, oh, word, I appreciate it, bro. I hope you find peace with whatever you're dealing with. That, that's what I said to them in the live. And, of course, they never said nothing back. But it just be stuff like that. Some people go out of their way to try to make somebody feel like shit, and it's because inside their shit, you know what I'm saying, internally. And you're just, you like, you, you for some reason, you reflect that mirror at them, and they see themselves, you know, so they feel they need to lash out. Hurt people hurt people. But anyways, and that's why he said that's just a reflection of their insecurities inside of them. Projected onto me like a screen when they feel entitled. Join his heart right there. Um, entitled screen. Shit is hard. Their mind goes idle, then starts spewing shit despite you. But it's all right, though. Everybody has bad days. Just don't waste away blaming others for your fate. He was preaching on this one, man. You got to get up. Get out your funk, move your feet, break your fucking neck, bob your head to the beat. He's like, so I'm trying to help you out, man. Just just, just rock with me. You'll feel better. You know, then the chorus is like, you know that I can't blame you. We all going through something. You know that I can't hate you. We all live for the moment. Um. So the second verse, he's like, I got to disconnect, get away for a while, a couple of solar cells and a duffel bag. I'm out. A few jackets, a canteen and grab, grab, you know, grab all my vitamins in the cabin with a spot. I like, man, that shit is so dope when he talk that, that, that health shit, man. Cup of solar cells in the duffel and I'm out. A few jackets, canteen, I grab all my vitamins in the cabin with the skylight to let the light in. Sunshine, alpines, grow to the sky. Like, it's just, he's setting that scene for you, man. He got his duffel bag full of vitamins. He got the skylight and all that stuff in the cabin. It's dope, man. Bones be living good. Um... Alpines grow to the sky. I want to do jump in my boots and I walk. Don't worry about me. I ain't worried about you. Just had to go somewhere where the surroundings are true. So that's what he's saying. I packed my duffel bag, grabbed my vitamins and all that other stuff. And I had to go somewhere where I could just, you know, enjoy life and everything. You know, probably go out there, meditate, smoke, all that stuff. And he's like, dead man, fresh air, replenish my lungs. Gratitude, the only thing I feel when I'm up. So when I'm up, all I feel is gratitude. That's another thing too, man. I noticed y'all, when I, um... Every morning when I wake up, I show gratitude, man. I I tell myself like I'm thankful. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for everything around me. Um, I I I I'm gonna have a good day. I just kind of manifest stuff in the morning. I'm like had a good rest. You know, I got my family, I got my kids, got my wife. I'm very grateful. You know, I always let the universe know I'm grateful every single day, even when things are going bad. I still I'm still grateful because it could always be worse. When you've been through so much shit, man, because I've been through a lot of shit. When you've been through so much shit. You find, like, the caveat in, like, everything, like, just the silver lining in everything, because it's just, like, it could be ten times worse, man, I, I promise you. 
So he's like, so pretty much he's like, dead man, fresh air, replenish my lungs. Gratitude, the only thing I feel when I'm up. Um, I got to see the sky today. I get to see the moon tonight. As soon as I grip the mic, I kill it. How rude am I? <laughs> I like that shit right there, man. You know, and then he gets back into it. You know that I can't blame you. We all going through something. You know I can't hate you. We all live for the moment. So that right there was no offense, none taken, man. Fire track, fire track. I love it. I love it. I love it. I fucking love it. Um, next track we have is um Blind Harper. Blind Harper is produced by um Camille. Okay, let's see what's popping with Camille. I never heard of them before. Let's get it, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Y'all let me know what these tracks mean to y'all. This song is really beautiful. This actually, I'm not sure what the last track sounds like, but I feel like this could have been the outro. This could have been the final song on the album. Just the way how he like drops the mic and everything. Life breath sesh, bitch. I'll see you when I see you. Like tsk, shit, man. That's like that's that's dope right there. Just leave you wanting more. Yeah, so um so salute to Camille on the production, man, and just shit's just hard, man. This track is dope, man. Through the village I stumble, feel like blind harper. Um, I remember they would mumble that I never get this far. Well, I never get far than that. You know, that's crazy right there. People talk shit that, thinking he wouldn't get nowhere. And we all know Bones, like, you know, his brother helped get him out of that lifestyle he was in and let him know he could follow his dreams. He was like, um, look at me truthfully. Now you know. Walk to the past that's covered in snow. Um, roses all, all over paved stone. Head into the homes of Malibu. My heart is dropping just like you. Say my goodbyes, now I gotta go. Head to the homes in Malibu, to the homes in Malibu. And then um he's and then like he comes through. This is when he starts rapping. He's like walking through the green glade, hating my DNA. Life is just a replay. So the game we play, give him no leeway. Motherfuck Ben Pay. All, all I truly need is a shack by Serene Lake. And Serene Lake is all Bones wants to do is get away and stay in a shack by Serene Lake, a beautiful lake and forest in California. That is that is that's a nice picture, man. Serene Lake looks really nice. Like he just loves peace, man. That's why I rock with Bones. He loves peace. Man, I need to tell y'all, man. One day, what was it last? Was it last weekend? I think last Sunday. Yeah, last Sunday. Or was it Wednesday? I can't remember. One of these days, man. Recently, man. I went outside in my backyard and I was meditating, man, like in my backyard, like that's different because I'll be meditating like in my room and everything, like close the door and just like inhale, exhale and all that stuff. But I was outside meditating and that joint, that joint felt different. Like I felt like my vibration and my energy going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, was, it was different out there. And it was like just hearing the birds and everything and the wind and the trees while you're meditating. It's, it's just different, you know, because I'm used to like total silence when I'm meditating. But yeah, so he's like, you know, walking through the green glade, hating my DNA. Life is just a replay. So the game we play, give him no leeway. Motherfuck being paid. All I truly need is a shack by Serene Lake. Being late, slept on, crows and they nesting. Right up on my head and the roof when I'm resting. 
best in, best out. What the fuck you talking about? Moss on the rocks, lead me to your whereabouts. He man, he was cooking, dog. Like never I like that Moss on the Ross on the Rocks, lead me to your whereabouts. Like the Moss is showing me where you are. You know, and then that's why he's saying, like, um, it's saying up here on Genius, moss can be a rough compass as the north side of the rock and tree will have more moss being the shaded side. You know, so that the rocks are pretty much going to tell on you because you've been walking through his forest and he's saying, like, the, the moss on the rocks will show me where you are. And he's like, clear him out, lay him down, should have never stuck around. Dead boys on the hunt. Now they don't, um, now... Dead boys on a hunt. No, they don't fuck around. I don't need them to believe me. Like Bree says, bitch, I'll see you when I see you. The way that shit ends, man, is a fucking problem, man. Hold on, y'all. We gotta... Hold on, man. Look, we, hold on. We gotta get that part again. Let, let's hear Bones say it again, man. Like Brett says, bitch, I'll see you when I see you. Like Brett says, bitch, I'll see you when... <laughs> Like that, <laughs> my bad, y'all just jumped out of me. Yeah, man. So that right there was Blind Harbor, man. Yeah, that, that, that track is dope, man. That's a beautiful song right there. So, um, so you know, I y'all know I had to look it up, right? So Blind Harbor is a song by Andy Irvin. So that's what Blind Harbor is. And then it's like a whole, like it's the whole thing. Have you heard of Blind Harper? How he lived in um, what Lesher Mabin town? He will go to fair England and steal King Henry's wanton brown. But first he's going he's going into first he's going on to his wife with the speed that he could show. This work he says it'll never go well without the help of our good gray mare. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I got yeah, I gotta look at the story of um of Blind Harper, man. Y'all let me know about Blind Harper, what y'all know about it. But I gotta go I gotta research this right here, man. Bones got me intrigued. Shouts to Andy Irvin, man. Um, but yeah, y'all that those are the yeah those are dang man that went quick man i mean what we 20 dang 21 it don't even feel like 22 minutes man but yeah so those were the three man when was the last time no offense none taken and blind harper three fire tracks i'm really having fun with this album i'm definitely going to be having it on repeat for sure like this is a classic to me man i feel like dirt is definitely a classic like to me i feel like this one is one of the albums that appeal like to me a whole lot he's got the boom back tracks he's got the stuff that the, I don't know, like, it's a lot of relatability, man. You can always relate to what Bones talking about, but this one right here, this one just speaks to me in a different way right here. But, um, yeah, y'all check back tomorrow, man. We're going to conclude the album with the jokes on you and trivia night, man. All right, begin to those tracks so we can conclude this album. I'm really enjoying it. Salute to you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for all the love and support. Thanks for all the insights on the bars. Thank you for, like, the critiques like thank thanks for everything man i can't say enough man you guys are the greatest you guys are the dopest protect your peace with your peace stay away from negativity and naysayers and y'all stay positive holla at y'all on the next one tomorrow y'all be easy peace